the night's forecast. A freeze is coming. Well, thanks, Ar Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> well, this is Freeze by Cinematronics in 1984. And it is a game that takes place over nine different screens. And you move through them between uh, uh, openings in the edges of the screen. And the game is about you as a, an underwater explorer on an ice planet. And you are trying to find what is called the Mondo Crystal and return it to your uh, ship on the surface. And uh, there will be smaller crystals which will help uh, extend your life or bring your life meter back up because it will dip as uh, you're in the water too long. And we'll look at the screens that you'll see top to left and then the middle three and then the bottom three. And uh, you need to go to the top center one once you find the Mondo Crystal. And the Mondo Crystal will be much bigger than the other crystals, but it'll otherwise look similar. There will be various denizens of the deep that will try to uh, kill you. Actually, there are basically only two. There is a bat, and there is a red guy that will chuck ice at you. Touch any enemy. Uh, touch their projectiles. Stand in one place too long, and you will die. You will freeze to death. Uh, you can also freeze to death by uh, burning away a uh, an ice wall, and you have a flamethrower underwater. <laughs> yeah. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? But, um... Got frozen to death by touching a bat. But if you let that ice wall form around you, you will die. Uh, this is not a very good game. There's no music in it. There are just sound effects. Yeah, you need to uh, collect that uh, Mondo Crystal to repower your ship. And uh, yeah, there are smaller crystals that will help uh, refill your uh, your jetpack bar and uh, and your flamethrower meter. If you run out of both, then you can't. Then you can only walk left or right. You can't use your jetpack. The jetpack and I think the, both the flamethrower as well will uh, will restart or uh, refill on their own if you don't use them. But um, that sound indicated I picked up one of the smaller crystals that will keep my meter from going to zero. And you'll hear a sound that indicates that enemies will soon start come out of the uh, start coming out of the uh, uh, caves, I believe. Maybe not. But uh, the bats will come out of those caves, and there is that Mondo crystal. You can hold down the uh, fire button, and you'll rapid fire through the uh, ice walls. And those those red guys, as I mentioned before, will start chucking ice at you. Oh, and he uh, went away there. And the ice, if it touches you, it makes you spin in place, and you'll, you die. The uh, game is not technically sound. Sometimes it seems you get stuck on a floor or on a wall or something and it takes it takes quite a bit of effort to get free. And uh, sometimes the bats will uh, will be able to move through the walls or through the ice walls and that shouldn't happen. Whoops, crap, I moved too fast and I got frozen by the bat. But now that I have the Mondo Crystal, I have to get out top center, right through there. I can't get very far in this game because from the second level on, the bats are so numerous and they're so hard to avoid. And they'll start coming, coming in hordes out of that stupid uh, cave. 
And like I said, the game is technically not sound. The bats can sometimes come through the, the floor. It didn't look like she, he should have hit me there. And sometimes they can come through the uh, ice walls. And sometimes your butt will land on a ledge and you think you that you should go uh, uh, go through. But you get stuck and it's stupid. Yeah, I don't care much for this game. I've never seen this in arcades. I would have been, been disappointed for sure if I played it. and I got touched by the bat and that's my game and I get to put in my initials because I got the high score we'll look at the different ways to die um, the mazes will change slightly uh, but there will still be uh, just nine screens to move through and again the escape screen that you, know, that you want to get to to uh, get back to your ship is at the top center <laughs> I had to include that little clip from uh, Batman and Robin at the very beginning. It's a terrible movie, and Arnold Schwarzenegger is very hammy and has all these bad puns in it. Um, I've uh, I've never seen the whole movie, but I've seen bits and pieces of it, and it is terrible. <laughs> but um, that was Freeze by Cinematronics in 1984. But, uh, yeah, you do not want to stay still for very long. If you stay still for, I don't know, probably about eight seconds or so, you will freeze to death. And do not let the ice walls form around you. Yeah, the game is just technically flawed. I don't really care for it. But let's look at some of the different ways to die. jump on in here again like I said if you stay still for too long you will freeze to death and that's what happens here there. and we'll look at me run out of power for the flamethrower and for the jetpack all I can do for now is move left and right and I got touched by a stupid bat I hate those bats. Those bats are so irritating. And here I get frozen by the reforming wall. And uh, let's find... Whoops. There I got hit by a uh, block of ice from those red guys. And there's the... <laughs> Damn it! Stupid bats. And there's those... They're a Mondo Crystal from level 2 that I was looking for. It's going to change its position uh, all the time. It's never going to be in the same screen. It can be on any of those nine screens and really it actually I'd, it might not ever be on that second top screen where you escape from or enter. That would be pretty easy if it did. And here is a little bit of a look at the third uh, third round the colors of the uh, ice change, or the colors of the level change. Those bats, those bats really piss me off. I I do not care for this game. <laughs> Screw you, stupid bat. Well, that was Freeze by Cinematronics in 1984. Well, this was Crazy Climber Eddie saying thanks for watching Freeze by Cinematronics in 1984. I will uh, catch you soon with another video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a great week. And I uh, hope you enjoy the upcoming football weekend. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.